Fossils We watch movies on dinosaurs, huge animals that existed on Earth millions of years ago. How did we come to know about this species? How did humans discover who their ancestors were? It was with the help of fossils. An evidence that nature leaves behind for us to know a certain form of life that existed on Earth in the past. A fossil is the preserved remains or trace of dead animals or plants in the Earth's crust since very ancient times. But how exactly are these fossils formed? What parts of organisms remain or leave their traces for so many years? Fossils can be formed in several ways. Dead animals and plants can be preserved in amber, which is basically hardened tree resin. Insects, spiders and even small lizards have been found nearly perfectly preserved in amber over the years. Mineral-rich groundwater seeps in slowly and replaces the original organic tissues with silica, calcite or pyrite, forming a rock-like fossil. It can preserve hard and soft parts, bone and wood. This is known as permineralization or petrification. Another process of fossilization is called carbonization. In this process, the entire organism gets decomposed, leaving behind the carbon. The carbon that is left behind creates an impression in the rock outlining the fossil. A dead organism starts precipitating its minerals before a significant decay forms a cast or mold around it. This is known as orthogenic mineralization. Fossils can be dated from the age of the rock formation. Sequences of fossils can show the gradual change of an organism over geological time. This is called a fossil record. Fossils can be divided into two major groups. The first type or group is known as body fossils. Body fossils include the remains of organisms that were once alive. They include bones, teeth, eggshells, claws, feathers, hair, skin as well as tough shells of invertebrates. Thus, a body fossil is what was actual organic material from a creature or plant. Most body fossils are made when an animal dies and falls or is washed into a stream and is covered with mud. Trace fossils are impressions made by organisms. These include burrows, footprints, trails, nests, as well as leaf impressions. Trace fossils are signs of plant and animal activity that have been preserved in rock. For example, dinosaur tracks, trails and dung are all trace fossils. There are four other types of fossils apart from the two major ones mentioned above. They are called microfossils pseudo-fossils, raisin fossils, and living fossils. Microfossil is a descriptive term applied to fossilized plants and animals whose size is just at or below the level at which the fossil can be analyzed by the naked eye. Microfossils are thus the tiny remains of bacteria, protists, fungi, animals and plants. Microfossils may either be complete organisms such as the marine planktonic foraminifera 
or component parts such as small teeth or spores of larger animals or plants. Another type of fossils are known as raisin fossils. Raisin fossils are the fossils that are formed when an organism is trapped in the hard tree raisin amber. This includes preservation of small animals such as insects, bacteria as well as fungi. Pseudofossils forms another type of fossils. Pseudofossil is a rock with an unusual shape or pattern that occurs naturally and resembles something that once lived. Moss agate is an example of a pseudofossil. It looks exactly like moss or plant leaves. Pseudofossils are produced due to geological processes and may be formed or exposed by erosion or weathering, which is a chemical process that can alter a rock's appearance. The last type of fossils are called living fossils, which are plants or animals that closely resemble species known only from fossils. Living fossil is thus an informal term for any living species of organism which appears to be the same as the species otherwise known only from fossils and which has no close living relatives. An example is the coelacanth fossil that was once thought to have gone extinct 65 million years ago until it was discovered alive and well in 1938. Fossils found in rocks of all ages help to study the process of evolution. Fossils of the simplest organisms are found in the oldest of rocks and fossils of more complex organisms are found in the newest rocks. This supports the theory of evolution which states that simple life forms gradually evolved into more complex ones over a long period of time. One of the few animals for which we have fairly complete evolutionary record is the horse. All the main stages of evolution of the horse have been preserved in the form of fossils. Over 60 million years, the horse evolved from a dog-sized creature that lived in rainforests into an animal which adapted to living on the plains. The first horse-like animal lived 60 million years ago in early Eocene rock. It was named Eohippus. It was 0.4 meters in height, while its forelimbs and hind limbs were thin with four digits. This animal lived in the rainforests. The second fossil found 40 million years ago was that of the Mesohippus. It was found in late Eocene rock. Its height was 0.6 meters and its limbs seemed to have increased in length. The forelimbs and hind limbs had three digits. Mesohippus also lived in the rainforests. Another fossil found about 30 million years ago was that of the Mary Chippus. It was found in the middle Miocene rock. Its height was one meter long. The middle digit of the forelimbs and hind limbs was enlarged and had turned into a toe. This animal moved onto the open plains. The fourth fossil in the evolution process of the horse was that of Pleohippus, which was found 10 million years ago. It was found in the late Miocene rock. It was one meter in height and its forelimbs and hind limbs were thick with one enlarged toe. Its body was strong and a lot like the modern horse. This animal started grazing on the plains. The last stage was that of the modern horse called Equus, 
which was found about 1 million years ago in the Pleistocene rock. It was 1 meter in height. Its limbs were one-toed and strong. It would mainly feed on grass and herbs. Fossils and their records have answered many questions about life on Earth, but not all. Hopefully, the mystery named fossils will continue to unravel further in the years to come.